Okay, let's move on to impingement and cuff pathology. Start with a test question. Um, um, the 22-year-old male presents with shoulder pain. Radiographs are shown in figures A and B. Here you can see a true AP view of the shoulder that looks pretty normal and an axillary view that shows a line going through the acromion. So the uh, choices are, is this an acute acromial stress fracture? Is this a type 4 AC joint separation, a deltoid avulsion, or a failure of fusion between two different uh, sites of the uh, acromion? The correct answer here is uh, 5. So this is an osochromial. Uh, which is a, basically a failure of fusion that, hap that is, happens in the late teenage, early adult uh, 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 age. Uh, the most common location is between the meso and the metaacromion. Um, so we'll talk a little bit more about that anatomy. So uh, basically an osochromial is an unfused secondary ossification center. Uh, the most common location is between the meso and metaacromions. Uh, it's important to distinguish osochromials from fractures. Uh, you guys should basically remember that osochromials are usually incidental findings. They're usually not related to uh, pain directly, and the most common location is, is basically in the mid-acromion. The incidence is between 6 and 8 percent. I was always told 4 percent, but I think it's closer to 6 to 8 percent. You do see them bilaterally in 60 percent of patients. They are definitely more common in African Americans. I've seen that in my clinical practice and slightly more common in males. Um, they are associated, they're usually not symptomatic, and um, if usually you see them as an incidental finding as a workup for basically rotator cuff uh, pain. Uh, they are associated with impingement and rotator cuff disease. It's important to remember that there are poorer outcomes associated in patients who have rotator cuff repairs with a symptomatic osochromial uh, that's not managed surgically at the same time. So um, just the review of the anatomy. Uh, uh, you have basically three uh, ossification centers that divides the acromion into four separate bony segments. Uh, the pre osochromial is the most anterior portion, and that's probably the second most common location of an osochromial, and that's with the origin of the uh, anterior deltoid. The meso osochromial is the origin of the middle deltoid, and the meta osochromial is the origin of the, of the posterior aspect of the deltoid. Uh, remember that the blood supply to the acromion is the thoracoacromial artery. Um, these patients with an osochromial, if the os is a source of their pain, they can present uh, as pain from either impingement or motion at the non-union site. Um, this, the osochromials are best recognized on the axillary view. It is important if you think that the patient has symptoms from their os to image it with something else, either an MRI or a CT scan. And signs of a symptomatic osochromial include um, uh, arthritic changes and cystic changes within the bone at the, uh, at the os site. This can be confirmed with uh, localized injections. The treatment is usually conservative, which includes anti-inflammatories, uh, subacromial steroid injections, and physical therapy. Um, the operative management of an os is really controversial, so um, if it really falls into several categories. Uh, one is a fusion uh, or an arthroscopic decompression in acromioplasty or an excision of the fragment. Just remember that uh, arthroscopic excision of os fragments are bad, uh, with the exception is a pre osochromial That's the one indication where you can simply remove the os fragment without really destabilizing the deltoid origin. Uh, so then your indications for treat, your choices for treatment for a symptomatic Meso or mesa os falls into two categories. Either do a decompression alone uh, or uh, uh, do a uh, fusion. Um, I don't think that there's a right or wrong answer. Um, um, a, a arthroscopic decompression can be helpful if there's no rotator cuff tear and you think they have impingement uh, as a part of their symptom complex. If you think that the symptoms are really coming from um, uh, the osochromial itself, and uh, a decompression alone is probably not enough, and you can perform a fusion of the os, which is, be, can be accomplished either with cannulated screws or tension band K-wire construct. I think most high-volume shoulder surgeons try to stay away from operative fixation of os fragments unless it's more of a last resort. So I think most people would tell you that either ignoring the os or doing a decompression is the best first-line treatment. You can rely on a fusion later if they fail those treatment options. 
complications from osochromial, uh, especially excisions, include deltoid weakness, and that's a very, fairly reasonable test question. If you enjoyed this video, please consider leaving a like. We'd love to hear your thoughts and what you'd like to see next in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and follow us on social media.